so I am not a gearhead gear guy. I'm kind of cool with pretty much any amp. And yeah. I have my Strat, and I'm I'm a Strat guy. Yeah, I can get away with other guitars, but I feel like my voice comes out in the Strat a lot more. Yeah. I remember at this festival, but most of the time with Wolfpack, I just say, backline me two Fender amps, kind of whatever. Because I yeah. know every backline company has a couple great amps. It's a and, safe place, yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't remember if it was this festival or something else, in partic- uh, another one that I saw you at, but I had backlined two Super Reverbs, and I don't remember if it was this festival. You you maybe did the same, or it was another one. I saw you playing two Super Reverbs. And for me, I got two Super Reverbs because I like it. There's not enough clean headroom in one. So I yeah. just put the amps on like two and a half, and yeah. I like it just as clean as possible. And you had almost the opposite approach oh, where yeah. it seemed like everything, <laughs> both amps are dimed because you're trying to get all the muscle out of the amp. I was like, that is so cool that we're both <laughs> using the same thing for comp- and and both say like, I need this amp. Because it does this. And they're the opposite things. Well, I mean, it's kind of the best amp ever made, man. A Super Reverb is just hard to beat. It really is incredible. But yeah, I I pretty much dime them. But I use the volume knob on my guitar. Yeah. Like, like you know, it's it's kind of no pedals going into it. And I want, when I amp the the volume on the guitar, I want to get that compression. But the, the cleanness of a Super when you're on about three or four on your guitar and about seven ish, eight ish on your amp is a is a pretty sweet sound too. But it, okay. it's kind of it is two ways at the same thing essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it's it was so funny to watch because I, <laughs> I remember awesome. thinking he's doing he's doing the he has the same amp for the complete opposite reason why I do. <laughs> That's amazing. But I didn't realize so the the volume knob is that kind of. Is that a big signature part of your the way that you approach playing in general? I mean, it's kind of the only piece of gear that I'm really that I really tweak on is like having the right volume pot in there because it has really? to be yeah, it has to be the right sweep. Like cuz when a lot of them you get stocked, it's like the guitar is off on, you know, there's yeah, not yeah, a lot yeah. of there's not a lot of gradient in there, so sure. Um, I'm I'm not enough of a guitar nerd to be able to tell you what's in there. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just the one know, that feels good. Yeah, yeah, I know when it's not right. I'm like Bobby, what's going on? Here? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, we gotta change this out. But yeah, there's something about that when you get that sweep where it's it's pretty even from zero to yeah. ten. That's that's where that's where a lot of uh, a lot of the sound that I'm going after is is hidden is in yeah. that is in that. I know exactly what you're talking about. With a super reverb, I like it because the tens, the ten inch speakers are really fast. And I yeah. with my fast rhythmic percussive thing, I'm trying to be like a bongo player half the time. Yeah. So yeah. I like the fast attack. What do you like about like why a super instead of a twin for you? It's the tens. I think it's the tens, and I think uh super is one of the few amps that are uh at two ohms. So it's just there's, Oh yeah. There's, there's Almost no resistance between what you play and what you feel and hear. 